when Horton the elephant heard a small noise. Splash, splash, splash. I hear some noise. Who is that? I don't know who is that. Splash, splash, splash. I hear a little help. So Horton stopped splashing. He looked towards the sound. That's funny, thought Horton. There's no one around. Then he thought he heard it again. Just a very faint yelp. Yelp! As if some tiny persons were calling for help. I'll help you, said Horton. But who are you? Where are you? He looked and he looked. And he couldn't see nothing there but a small peck of dust blowing past through the air. There was nothing there? Hmm. I wonder who it was. He was wondering too. Horton was like, hmm. Who could you be? I say, muttered Horton, I've never heard of a small speck that was able to yell. So who do you think? Why, I think that there must be someone on the top of the small peck of dust. Some little creature, very small, too small to be seen by the elephant's eyes. Horton's very wise. But well, what was on the speck? Who is it? <laughs> Some poor little person who's shaking with fear. Oh, no. Then he'll blow in the pool. He has no way to steer. I'll just have to save him because, after all, a person's a person no hot matter how small. He's going to save him? Oh, he's the coolest. Horton's so cool. So gently and using the greatest of care, the elephant stretched out his great long nose, the trunk, through the air, and he lifted the little dust speck and carried it over and placed it gently down on a very soft clover plant. Oh, that's so cool. Humph! Humph! A voice. "'Twas a sour kangaroo, and the young kangaroo her pounced, "'Humph! Humph! Humph! "'Why, that speck is so small as the head of a pin. "'A person on that? <laughs> "'Well, there never has been. "'You are a silly old ho elephant. "'Believe me,' says Horton. "'I tell you sincerely, my ears are quite keen, "'and I heard him quite clearly. "'I know there's a person down there, and that's more... Quite likely, there's two, even three, even four. Quite likely, a family, for all we know. A family with children just starting to grow. So please, Horton said. It's a favor to me. Try not to disturb them. Just let them be. Hump, hump, hump. You and your family of invisible people on a clover. Hump, 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 pouted the kangaroo. I think you're a fool. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Laughed the sour Kangaroo. The young kangaroo in her pound said, Me too. You're the biggest blame fool in the jungle of Newell. And the kangaroo plunged in the cool of the pool. Splash, splash. What terrible splashing, the elephant frowned. I can't let my very small persons get drowned. I've got to protect them. I'm bigger than they. So he plucked up the clover and hustled away. Those kangaroos splashing at my new friends. Through the jungle treetops and the news quickly spread. He talks to a speck of dust. He's out of his head. Just look at him walking around with that speck on that flower. <laughs> He's so silly, that Horton. And Horton walked around worrying almost an hour. Should I put this speck down? Horton thought about it with alarm. If I do, these small persons may come to great harm. I can't put it down and I can't and I won't. And after all, a person's a person no matter how small. There's small little people in there. Then Horton stopped walking. The speck voice was talking. The voice was so faint he could just barely hear it. Speak up, speak up, please, said Horton. He put his hair near it. My friend, said the voice, you're a very, very nice friend. You helped all our folks with this tiny speck to no end. You've saved us. You saved us. Oh, you're the best friend in the whole wide world. You saved us out of the clutches, and and you saved us. You're so sweet, Horton. You mean Horton Grass? You have buildings down there? Oh, yes, pepped up the voice. We have a whole city and a mayor, and we have grocery stores, and we have a big family, 
and we are so thankful and grateful to you. And Horton called back to the mayor of the town. You're safe now. Don't worry. I won't let you down, Mr. Mayor of the small town that no one can see, but only I can hear. Horton, you saved us. And so the little town was playing racquetball, and one was throwing her babies around, and one was painting the house. But just as he spoke to the mayor of the speck, three big jungle monkeys climbed up Horton's neck. The Wickerman's brothers came shouting, What rot? Did this elephant's talking to? <laughs> Who are not? There are any who's and they don't have a mayor and we're going to stop all this nonsense so there you silly old elephant <laughs> they snatched horton's clover then carried it off to the black bottom eagle named vlad vladikov a mighty strong eagle a very swift wing and they said will you kindly get rid of this thing horton's acting a fool in the jungle of pool and before the poor elephant horton could speak the eagle flew off with the flower in his beak all that afternoon and far into the night that black bottom bird flapped his wings through the flight while horton chased after he's chased it and chased it please don't hurt my little friends please don't harm my friends but he just kept running after them and said please don't hurt my little friends but that eagle flew off with his friends on that speck on that clover what was horton to do but to go after the eagle and make sure his friends were safe oh he wanted to make sure his friends were safe, that no one could see and no one could hear. And at 6.56 the next morning, he did it! It was sure it was such a bearable place that that eagle hit it. He let that small clover drop somewhere inside of a great patch of clovers a hundred miles wide. Find that, sneered the bird. But I think you will fail. And he laughed with a flip of his black bottom tail. <laughs> you could never find the speck in hundred miles of this. I'll find it, said Horton. I'll find it or bust. I shall find my friends on my small peck of dust. And clover by clover by clover with care. By clover with clover and clover with care. That Horton was determined to find his friends on the speck of dust. He picked up and searched them and called, Are you there? Are you there, my friends? Are you there in this clover number one or clover number two? Are you there? I will find you. Have no fear. I will find you, my friends, that no one believe but me, Horton the Elephant. So Horton looked and looked and looked and he had piles and piles and piles. Are you there? Are you well? Oh, he found the speck of dust on his little clover after looking through everything. I found you, I found you, I told you, I'll find you, I found you. From down in the speck came the voice of the mayor. We are really appreciative that you saved us, that you care about us, that you saved us. We are so appreciative. And will you please be our friend? And we adore you, Mr. Who. So Horton answers, of course I will stick, I will stick. By my small folks through thin and thick. Oh, the mayor and Horton made a deal that they will be watching out for each other. And the town was alive. Hump, hump, said a voice. For almost two days you've run wild and insisted on chatting with the persons who've never existed. Such carrying on in our peaceable jungle. We have quite enough of your bellowing bungle. And I'm here to stay snapped. Big kangaroo, that your silly nonsense game is all through. And the young kangaroo in her pouch said, Me too. Oh no! The monkeys and kangaroo are going to do something about his friendship. With the help of the Wickersham brothers, monkeys, and dozens of Wickers Wickersham uncles and Wickersham's cousins, and the Wickersham's in laws who help. Ivan Gabe, you're going to be roped and you're going to be caged and as far as your dust speck, ha ha, we shall boil it in a hot steaming kettle of beetle nut oil. 
beat on the oh that's why oh that you can't do it's bezel nut oil it's full of person mr mayor mr manor horton called out mr mayor you got to prove now that you really are there so called a big meeting get everyone out make everyone who holler make everyone who shout make everyone who scream if you don't Everyone is going to end up in a bezel nut stew. <laughs> and down in the dust back, the scared little mayor oh, called quick the big meeting in Hoosville Town Square. And as people cried loudly, they cried out in fear. We are here. 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 Hear our voices. We are here in the speck of dust. The elephant smiled. And it was clear as a bell. You kangaroo surely heard that very well. All it heard snapped the big kangaroo was this breeze and the faint sound of the wind through the far distant trees. I heard no small voices and you did it either. And the young kangaroo in her pouch said, me neither. We heard no one. You silly old, old, old elephant. Grab him, they shouted, and the cage and the big rope, and lassoed his stomach with the ten miles of rope. Tie the knots tight so he'll never shake loose. Then dunk that dumb speck and the bezel nut juice. Horton fought back with great vigor and vim, but the Wickersham's monkey gang was too many for him. They beat him. They mauled him. They started to haul Horton into his cage, but he managed to call to the mayor. Don't give up. Don't give up. I believe in you all. Don't give up. Don't give up. I believe in you all. A person's a person, no matter how small. And you very small persons will not have to die. You will have to make yourselves heard. So come on now, try and you try and you try. Can you shout? The shaky mare grabbed a tom-tom. bump a dum bump bump He started to smack it and then all over Hoobel, they whopped up a racket. They rattled tin cans and they beat on brass pans. On garbage pails, top pails, oh, cranberry cans. They blew on bazookas and blasted great toots on clarinets and oompas and boompas and flutes. Great gas of loud racket rang through the air. They rattled and shook the whole sky. Guy and the mayor called up through the howling and hullaboo. Hey, Horton, how about that? Can you hear us? And Horton called back, I can hear you just fine. But the kangaroo's ears aren't as quite as strong, quite as mine. They don't hear a thing. Are you all sure your boys are doing their best? Are they all making noise? Are you sure everyone down in Hoosville are working? Quick, look through your town. Is there anyone shrinking? Come on, boys and girls, make some noise. Make some noise. Horton, we're down here. Horton, we're Hoosville. Through the town rushed the mayor, through the east to the west, but everyone seemed to be doing their best. Everyone seemed to be yapping and yipping, and everyone seemed to be beeping and blipping, yapping and yipping and yapping and yipping and bleeping and blipping. But it wasn't enough. All this roughest or roar, he had to find someone to help him make more. He raced through each building. He searched floor to floor. That mayor was doing his best to save Hoosville. He ran and he raced and he shook. A very small, small shaker named Jojo was... On his phone, nice and nippy, nice and chirpy. Come on, the mayor insisted. We need some noise. We need the elephants to hear us. And we need the monkeys and the kangaroos and all the animals in the jungle to hear us. Come on, kids, make some noise. We're here. We're Hoosville. Come on, kids, shout. We're here in Hoosville. We're alive. We're real. We are small people. And he climbed up the ladder and the Eiffelberg Tower, and he said, Mr. Mayor, we got it. Then he spoke as he climbed when they got to the top, and the loud cleared his throat, and he shouted, Vop! 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 Yup! We're here in Hoosville! Yup! Yup! Hoosville, we're Hoosville, we're alive and breathing in Hoosville, we're Hoosville and Hoosville, and that yop, that one small extra yop, put it over. Finally, at last, from the speck on that clover, their voices were heard. They rang out clear and clean, and the elephants' mouth. Do you see what I mean? They proved they are real. 
persons, no matter how small, and the whole world was saved by the smallest of all. How true, how true, said the big kangaroo. And from now on, you know I'm planning to do. From now on, I'm going to be to protect him with you. And the young kangaroo in the pooch said, Guess what, kids? Me too!